All right, so today I'm going to show you how to um, clean your intake manifold. Now, this was a great fix on the van that I have over there, another Honda, that was idling very rough. It felt like it was missing. And, um, you know, I'm pretty sure the plugs are not fouled yet because I only replaced them about a year or two ago. So you unscrew this screw right here, and to clean this, just make sure you've got lines, you know where they're at. This thing here could like come off, pull that piece right off if you feel like you should. But once you unscrew this bolt right here, you just take that right out. Now, I've noticed that you don't have to go so deep into the cleaning or taking everything off. A lot of people like to take everything off. I think, first of all, your intake manifold is right there. And um, you can tell if it's dirty, used, abused, um, or anything else. It's pretty simple to see. This actually looks fairly clean, but you never know what's inside. So what you do is you take some of this cleaner that I bought. Here. I guess I'll use this one right here. This is your carburetor and intake cleaner, which um, in this case, we need that little long nozzle in order to spray in there. I think I have one right here. So basically, what you're doing is you're getting in there and um, getting all the gum out, all the gunk, anything that could make the vehicle run a little rough, really this should take care of it. Now, I guess the hard part is to get in there, but as you can see, I have my can right there. And um, yeah, there is a little bit of a difficulty in getting inside the... Um, manifold itself and you don't want to push that manifold very hard it opens and closes actually by itself as the car warms up it does its own thing so in this case I'm just going to spray as much as I think it might need to get in there and um, you know once you open once you start the car Sometimes it feels like it's flooding or it's flooded. It doesn't want to start. It's all part of the cleaning process. The vehicle might take a couple seconds to suck that stuff inside the engine. And um, basically that's it. You're trying to clean out the vehicle. It's idling rough. It's making um, like it's missing, like the plugs, like the plugs need to be changed and that's something that you might want to do you might want to change the plug and you see it won't start right away because it's got the fluid in there and it has to burn it off and uh, it'll burn it off and actually in my experience over the years I found out that it's actually a good idea to um, let it run and also spray it in there as the car warms up a little bit so that once that manifold opens up, because usually they open up when the car um, warms up a little bit by themselves, they open up a sixteenth of its capacity. But um, I'm actually feeling the vehicle running better already. It's not missing like it was. It's not shaking like it was. I think that's um, that's an easy fix. And then if you change the plugs, you know you have a you have a dual uh, potential for uh, having given your vehicle the best chances at running well. So that's it. Your car will never run like it did the day you uh, bought it. The acceleration might get, you know, worse as time goes on. Um, you know, your vehicle will run a little rougher over the years. This is a 2010. So you can't expect the vehicle to be like it was when you bought it, uh, right out of the showroom. But um, as you can tell, this car is running I think probably as good as it's going to run 
for a 2010 model. Toyota Corolla 2010.